ladies and gentlemen, we are moments away from WWE's first ever free purview. Yeah, it's not a, you don't have to pay for it. You don't even have to pay $9.99. It's the Survivor Series, the second longest running pay-per-view in WWE history. Speaking of which, if you're paying $54.99 to watch this on pay-per-view, you're fucking stupid. Because right now it's free. You can go to WWE.com, sign up. You, got, you still have another week of free shit on the WWE Network. Do and it. Survivor Series for free. Do it. Do it. Thanks, Michael. I did not teach you how to use the WWE app. <laughs> uh, but all right, uh, we've got our Survivor Series predictions. Yeah, we do. Uh, you might have noticed that there's only two of us on the couch right now. I killed Thomas and took a spot. We're, we're probably going to mention that. You probably heard us mention this in the previous videos yeah. of the week. When we get Thomas's uh, picks, they'll probably end up showing up. Down yeah. towards the bottom of the Ho screen. Hopefully, I get. Uh, hopefully, we get this before it's edited. Uh, uh, down towards the bottom of the screen, we'll get Thomas's predictions. Hopefully, um, but we're gonna start off. We have an inkling that Fundango will be in action in the pre-show versus an opponent yet to be announced. Yeah, I'm voting Justin Gabriel. Are you voting Justin Gabriel as the opponent and the winner, or just just the opponent? Uh, just the opponent. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I was trying to think, like, who Fandango was, like, like, who did he last face? Summer Rae and Layla. All right. Well, they're going to be pulling double duty. It's going to be a handicap match. Um, I'm going to tea all over my face. Nice going. Uh-huh. Um, no, yeah. Uh, yeah, so they're, they're, I guess they're repackaging Fandango? Yeah, because it's supposed with, to be the new and improved Fandango. With Rosa Mendez. Yeah. So he's got a new he's got a new dance partner. Uh, <coughs> may, maybe that'll be the Getting thing. rid of the boogie, going for the cha-cha. I'm cool with that. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Justin Gabriel since he seems to be their go-to guy. Mm -hmm. um, I also... Like, part of me kind of hopes that, like, Wade Barrett is actually okay and he just, like... Bull hammers the shit out of Fondango, but it's probably not gonna happen because we'll probably get the Bad News Barrett return next month. Mm -hmm. But he is on the panel at uh, Survivor Series. Um, so, yeah, I. Pff, I get, I'll say Justin Gabriel, but I'm gonna say Fondango wins whatever match happens because if they repackage him and have him lose, uh, I think he'll be on the next round of cuts. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm also going to go with Fandango, basically because if you have a guy who's going into action on any show, and they say that, oh, so-and-so is going to wrestle tonight, and they don't say who his opponent is, generally his opponent isn't going to win. So, that's his second vote for Fadnango. It's the returning great Kali. Yeah. Mediocre Kali. <laughs> the okay Kali. <laughs> <laughs> He's only 6'8". <laughs> He's downgraded a little bit. His Just, face isn't quite as messed up. They pushed his chin up a little. The okay collie. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, hopping into the Survivor Series main card. Woohoo! How about an elimination match between Team Alicia Fox versus Team Paige? Yeah, so Paige has <coughs> Cameron, Summer Rae, and Layla. Mm -hmm. And Alicia Fox has Natalia, Naomi, and Emma. Yes. Uh, I still feel like this is weird. I feel like Paige and Alicia should switch teams. Just because I don't really view Alicia Fox as a face at all. And I feel like Paige is way more popular. Yeah, uh, that's, this is a problem that I noticed watching uh, earlier this week. Watching the Superstars and Main Event matches between Alicia yeah, Fox and Yeah, no Paige. one wanted Alicia Fox to win. It was all yeah. pro Paige. Paige. Paige is ridiculously popular. She's over as heck. as because she knows, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Uh, not to say that Alicia Fox isn't definitely moving up every week. She gets better and better yeah, at and, wrestling. And uh, with, the, with the fact that we have a win for each of these girls, this is kind of like the tiebreaker this week. Yeah, I think uh, one of the things about it, too, is that I think they have to put Paige with Cameron, Summer Rae, and Layla because they're definitely the weaker team as far as wrestling ability is concerned. This is true. Especially and Alicia, Alicia Fox uh, isn't going to hold back a team like Emma, Natalia, and yeah, Naomi. Yeah, well, because those three girls are already solid. You don't, yeah. you don't have to worry about those three. Yeah. Um, I am going to say that Team Alicia wins because I feel like if they're trying to push a feud between Alicia Fox and Paige 
or if they want to keep Paige on a heel tirade that she has to lose this match. Uh, right. I'm going for Team Paige because if I don't say Team Paige, she'll hit me. Yeah, I'm. I'm very against my favorite. Well, no, I, okay, I, not necessarily this match because I like I like Natty and I like Naomi and I like Emma. Uh, I love Emma, but I like things from Australia. Yeah, I love kangaroos, koalas. Koalas are good, but especially Emma. Except for Vegemite. Vegemite, go suck it. <laughs> I've never had it, and I don't plan on trying it. It's not I've good. Heard, I've heard horrible things, like from you. Yeah. Not very good. But yeah, if you've never had Vegemite, I don't suggest trying it. But if you do try it, leave a comment. I want to know. Or leave a video. Can you do like a video a link? Do it. Do a reaction a video, video response, and we'll post it. We, we can't we'll, do video responses. Well, whatever you know, respond. To okay. Via video. Okay. Link it. Put yeah. Put yeah. In a comment. So post a video on YouTube. <coughs> uh, use the hashtag uh, Rundown Vegemite, and <laughs> and. Let us know. Get, yeah, give us like a video reaction. Yeah, just to you trying Vegemite on a cracker or on a piece of toast, or uh, or if you want to go ballsy and just put it on the end of a spoon. Yeah, uh, I'd use. Didn't the, they do that on Rent and Link? I'd use the small end of the spoon, not the spoon end of the spoon. Use the small. <laughs> You'll hate yourself. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Anyway, oh, yeah, not good. <laughs> Let's move on to more Smart Series stuff. Yeah, uh, one on one match. Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose. I still feel like this is way too early for this match. Absolutely. Uh, they've been, yeah. I just feel like they built this storyline way too, way too fast, and I feel like these two could have done such a bet. Like, not to say that they didn't do a good job with their promos leading up to this, but if they could have, you know, put them, put them on opposite sides of a Survivor Series elimination or something like that just to like give us a taste of Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose before setting up for a big match next month at TLC mm -hmm. you know and then have them in the rumble together and have them have an issue and then have you know have it culminate at Elimination Chamber or even Wrestlemania depending on what their plans are for these two yeah uh, I don't know if I'd want to see it stretch out that far but yeah so yeah <coughs> have it end at Elimination Chamber or something, you know, move on to WrestleMania. Uh, but I guess if I had to pick, I feel like the feud is going to continue regardless, so I am going to say Bray Wyatt. Bray. Where are you? Um, yeah, to me, the fact that this storyline has sped, so th sped through so quickly, to me, it's feeling very one-dimensional. Because it seems it's just the same... Bray Wyatt brings up the same issues with Dean Ambrose every promo. And Dean Ambrose has basically the same rebuttal every time. Where it's like, oh, you've got daddy issues and we're like the same people because we're both crazy. And then Dean, and Dean Ambrose, Ambrose is like, care. yeah, well, guess what? I know we're both crazy and now I'm going to beat you up. <coughs> yeah. So to me, uh, since... The break off of the Wyatts and the Shield going solo. This is my least favorite thing that Bray and Dean have done collectively. That uh, sucks because this could have been so good. I don't know. I'm really torn on this one. I like both guys a lot. Um, I feel like it at least has to continue another month. And I don't think that a Dean Ambrose win will continue it. Then again, Bray Wyatt did have the upper hand at Hell in a Cell when he attacked I would suck if Dean Ambrose lost two pay-per-views in a row. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt as well. Because um, I think this is going to have to draw at least one more month. Yeah. It'll maybe finish a TLC or continue into the Rumble. Yeah. Um, tag team. We're going to go to the titles section. Woo! Title section. Tag team Come championships. Uh, four way is it elimination or no? No, no, fatal four way. Fatal four way. For, okay. First fall to a finish, <coughs> which should make things interesting. It's the Usos, uh, the Miz and Damian Mizdow and the Matadors all challenging for Goldust and Stardust's tag team championships. The uh, Matadors right now, they're the ones going in with the momentum. They're yeah, they're on fire right now, and 
their commentary on main event was ridiculous. <laughs> Speaking really fast. <laughs> and getting Torito to do the, the, the twerk on the table. Which apparently was a text to Michael Cole from JBL. Yeah. JBL wanted him to do the... Yeah. If you want to know all about that, go back to the event we <coughs> And you'll hear all about that funny shit. Um... <laughs> I had a hard time trying to determine this because mm -hmm. we do know that in not the near future, but in the future, potentially before the end of the year, we should have the Ascension moving up to the main roster. Mm -hmm. So the question is, are the Ascension going to be playing the heels against a face tag team champion or are they going to run roughshod through all the teams and then get to... A heel tag team, it's it's really hard to tell, but I think I'm going to go with a safe bet, and I'm going to say that Dust to Dust retains and moves on as tag team champions. But I do have a wild card pick that Miz and Miz now take it. Hmm. I'd like to see Miz and Miz now take it for the sake of Damian Miz now, not the Miz. But I'm predicting right now that this match is going to be the official split. Of Miz and Miz Dow. Really? I see this being the match where Miz Dow tags himself in, does something cool, and then Miz forces a tag out, and this might be the final breaking point for Miz Dow, who keeps getting kind of screwed over by the Miz. But Miz, let's keep, Miz keeps him out of the limelight. Let's not drag this out and have Miz attack Miz Dow. Weeks and weeks on end, like we've seen Adam Rose do to the bunny, please. This has gone on way too long. Um, hmm. Go back to the midway graph after that one, too, also. I had an issue with it. Just for shits and giggles, I'm picking the Matadors. I don't think I ever would have guessed that you'd say the Matadors. Just for shits and giggles. Alright. Uh, I am giggling, I'm not shitting, though. To be honest, I, I'm i not invested in this match at all. It should yeah. be good because uh, of the teams that are in it. But. Thomas Wolf brought up a good point. We were texting during Raw, mm -hmm. and it was, you know, they had all this buildup for, you know, Team C versus Team Authority. Uh, you know, they had the buildup between Nikki and AJ and all this stuff. And then... They just kind of like, <laughs> Thomas said, it was, <coughs> it was like they were pushing Survivor Series and they went, oh fuck, we didn't do anything for the tag team battles. Uh, Fatal 4-Way. And it just kind of like, happened. Uh, like, I feel like that's the way the tag team title division goes a lot. Unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so you got the Dust Brusters. And uh, <laughs> the, the I'm, picking, I'm picking uh, the Matadors. I'm going to claim half a point if Miz and Miz down. Because I feel like... But if... I'm going to claim 20 points if the titles actually go to Torito and Tito Santana El Matador. Fuck yeah. I am all for that. And I will give you 20 points for that, sir. Uh, if Tito Santana shows up at all, I might give you just extra points for that. Alright. All right. If there's any reports... I'm going to make a couple calls. If there's any reports that Tito Santana is at Survivor Series, let us know so Kevin Hawk can redeem his extra... Extra Survivor Series points. All right, other title match is the Divas Championship. Uh, AJ defending against Nikki Bella. What are you thinking? I'll let you take this one first. Uh, you know what? I think Nikki's gonna take it. Mm, me too. I don't like voting against my woman because I love AJ. Oops. I don't hate Nikki, but I don't love her as much as I do AJ. <coughs> um, but I feel like. Because we're getting to the end of uh, we're getting to the end of November, which means there should be the break of the divas or the the Bellas. I mean, um, and like I said back when we had the triple threat match between AJ Page and Nikki, the title eventually has to go to that storyline. So I think this is going to be the start of it. Yeah, I agree. Um, and just be they've been making Nikki look really strong. She's been solid. She's been having uh, some good matches. Going on. Just figure out an easier way to set up the rack attack, which probably won't happen. But. 
Yeah. Well, she doesn't need an easier way to do it to AJ, though. No. <coughs> She's getting ready to go against her sister, which is like the same size as her, just less Pretty much. Uh, just less weight, you know. It's, it's about 15 pound difference. Yeah. So, double vote for Nikki Bella. Yeah. And the main event, the Survivor Series elimination match between Team Cena and Team Authority. Team Cena consists of the captain, Dolph Ziggler, <laughs> uh, Eric Rowan, uh, Ryback, Big Show, and, and the, the, that, that extra guy that the just strangler, kinda... John Cena. <laughs> uh, and Team Authority is uh, Seth Rollins, Kane, uh, Rusev, Mark Henry, and. Uh... Come on. Hold on. I'm, I'm better at this than you are. Um, Luke Harper. His favorite guy on the roster, and he forgot him. My favorite guy on the roster. My favorite guy on the roster is Cesaro. Really? Luke Harper's my second favorite guy. Okay. Along with Triple H, and Joy Mercury, and Jamie Noble, and Cesaro, and Lana, and Stephanie. So, the yeah, the uh, the 10 on 5 Survivor Series match. Do you, okay, tell everyone about your, your theory. Here's my theory. Because I... And this is why I'm picking the authority to win. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give pick. you extra points if this happens, but I don't think it's going to. This is my my uh, my pick is the team big nose people, uh, Seth Rollins Triple H joke, right there. Uh, I'm gonna mark that down in the book. Team noses. Um, okay, so the authority having so many people in their group. Yeah. Extras: the Jamie Noble, the Joey Mercury, Cesaro coming out on Raw, and helping the authority out on SmackDown. That's my, this is my theory on how the Authority is going to win. Say, halfway through the match, nobody's been eliminated yet, and we finally get, like, Cena eliminates, for example, just say Rusev. And Rusev leaves, and then because the Authority can basically make up the rules as they go along, they're the power in WWE, what if then Joey Mercury steps up and takes Rusev's place? And then somehow they eliminate Mark Henry. J.B. Noble gets to step up and take his place. And then they eliminate Kane. And then Luke Harper gets to take... Or Cesaro would take his place. And then eventually, I'd say it could even cul uh, culminate with Triple H finally getting up and joining Team Authority. Triple H just takes off all his clothes. He's got his gear on right <coughs> uh, He'd probably just wrestle in the suit. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I'm saying that we could possibly see a 9 against 5 Survivor Series match happening. You know, the more you talk about it, the more I want to see that because I feel like the addition of the stipulation, which we didn't, we didn't add. Obviously, we knew the stipulation going in was that if the authority loses, they are no longer the authority. Mm -hmm. But also on SmackDown or earlier this week on WWE.com, which I didn't see, uh, Triple H made the announcement that if Team Cena loses, then Eric Rowan, The Big Show, Dolph Ziggler, and Ryback are all fired. John Cena is the only one who doesn't get fired from his team. So, I feel like in an attempt to be stronger, which is what they've been trying to do since Vince made the stipulation for the authority, that this would be the perfect way. It's like, hey, we are the authority. Let's use our power that makes us stronger. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, but yeah, I, regardless if that happens or not, I'm still voting Team Authority. Uh, really? Yeah. I, do, I don't think... Don't think Team Cena has a shot? No. I, I, I've, I've been going with the Authority since they made the stipulation. I think even before the stipulation, I was still going to say that Team Cena... I thought playing. you were going to change your mind after you found out that the Team Cena guys will get fired. Yeah, I, I, I thought about it, and I was like, oh, God, that like totally makes it... That makes it obvious. But then I thought, okay, wait. One thing that kind of changes it is that before they made the stipulation, they took the title off of Dolph Ziggler. Mm -hmm. So we didn't fire another champion. I consider Brock Lesnar fired because he doesn't show up at all. Uh, uh, but I'm hoping. <laughs> please? Can we fire Brock Lesnar? Can that, get, can that be our Christmas present this year? It'll be like the first time a WWE champion was ever fired. Please. Um, but yeah, I... I feel like this would be a new a new direction for this storyline. Granted, we'd probably get 
I think you and I were talking about it. We get the Cena fights to get the four guys' jobs back. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you watch the SmackDown rundown... Yeah, there, there's my theory on that. Cena comes out every week on Raw and wrestles one of the guys from Team Authority to get the job of one of the members of Team Cena back. I'm saying, like, he has to beat Luke Harper so Eric Rowan can come back. He has to beat Mark Henry so Big Joe can come back. <coughs> Culminating at the end of the year, a tribute to the troops where we beat Rusev so Dolph Ziggler can come back. Something like that. Interesting. Yeah, I... If you watch SmackDown or the Raw Review or anything like that, I am not excited for this match anymore. Especially after what happened on Raw. Like, I... I, I'm not... I'm not not excited? You're ambivalent. Yeah. I, I just... I was... I had so much more hope for this match before they did the whole switcheroo on Raw. So before... Um, before Rowan... Before we got anti Sheamus. Um... I'm slightly more excited and I'm excited at the same time. Granted, I don't hate the fact that Eric Rowan's in. It just... I... Like, it surprised me in a, like, what the fuck kind of way. It wasn't like, holy shit, like... A, a new guy? Like, I just... It just seems so random. You'll, yeah. get, you'll get all that on the Raw Review. It's a stretch. But, yeah, I... Yeah, I, I feel like the Authority thing has to continue. I think the Authority will officially be out of power at WrestleMania. Ooh. Hmm. Yep. Alright, well... So, what? You've got Fandango, Alicia's team, Bray Wyatt, the Dust Brusters... Nikki Bella and Team Authority. Mm -hmm. If you're keeping track at home, I've got Fad Nango, Team Wifey, uh, <laughs> Bray Wyatt as well, the Matadors, Nikki Bella, and also Team Authority. I've yet to receive Thomas Wolf pick, so we might get it, we might not. Um, I I will have the official text. Hopefully, he sends it to me before Survivor Series comes on. Which is not too far in the future. Um, it's coming right up. Yeah. Stick around if you're watching this on the WWE Network. It is free. It is. It's free. We're not charging you. We're not charging you to watch this, and WWE is not charging you to watch Survivor Series. Get the WWE Network. It's ten dollars a month for all the content you can want to watch. Come on. More and, content than you want to watch. And for the next week, it's free. Yeah, it's more content than you want to watch because Total Divas is on it and you don't want to watch that. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I think you threw up a little bit. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, we got a lot of other videos over here in the playlist. Yeah, we do. Uh, Raw Review, Midweek Wrap Up, SmackDown Rundown, along with any news. And the results to Fantasy Warfare. Yes. Yes, we do. <coughs> um, vote, still vote Kurt Angle. Yeah. Uh, Even though it's already happened. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy Survivor Series. Yeah. Uh, put your picks in the comments. Yeah. Especially, and if you put them before Survivor Series happens, you get more credit than if you, like, just after Survivor Series, tell us that all your teams won. Yeah, because after, yes, that's true. After it doesn't count. Uh, yes, thanks for watching this week's Wrestling Rundown stuff. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you next week. we got got uh, Thomas' Top 5. We will have Survivor Series results. Uh, return of the Indie Question, I believe. Yes, Return yes. of the Indie Question. Don't and uh, all of our usual reviews and news, as we always do. And this came up without the top of my head. He said do's. I do. I did. King is a do. <laughs> we'll see you next week.